Now, if I went back out on the farm and worked all day long on a track and got totally filthy and come to your house and had a bath in your bathtub and saved the water, would you like to crawl into that bathtub and have a bath? Why not? The water's absolutely filthy, isn't it? Well, that's the same way with this water here. It was 296 parts per million, wasn't it? Do we expect that water to clean the inside of our body? That's what we're drinking water for. Three days without water and we'll die. If our water's already absolutely filthy, it's like taking a bath in a bathtub that's already filthy. What do you want to drink? What do you want to bathe in? You want to bathe in clean water, don't you? You should bathe the inside of your water body with clean water. Zero parts per million water is what we should be drinking. It carries the toxins out of our body. There's nothing more important to our body, our health, and our wealth, and our future than the water we drink. And if it's filthy water, it isn't going to do it. Out of all the waters you drink, what you want when you drink water is water that cleans your body. When we get water to this point, to the tap or, or distilled water, what we do is we drink it into our body, don't we? Let's see the difference between the two waters as they enter our body. This is tap water. We'll put 200 milliliters of, of tap water in, in this bottle. And this represents the filth that's in our body, some of the spent vitamins and minerals and all the filth that we get rid of every time we, we urinate. We'll put the same amount of filth in this bottle as we do the other one, but we'll just show you this one first. We'll put Twelve drops of filth in this body. We'll put the, the cap on. And as this water goes through, through your body, goes up to your brain and through all of your organs and around your body, you'll see something happening to this, to this water. It's, as that water goes through your body, what's happening there? There's an accumulation of filth in that water, isn't there? You see that? When you piddle this water out, does it leave something in your body? It does, doesn't it? It isn't able to absorb and transport and eliminate the waste. Now this is distilled water in this body. We'll put 200 milliliters of water in this body. We're going to have it contend with the same amount of filth. This isn't magic or anything. This just shows you how well distilled water deals with filth. As that water goes through your body, and through all your organs, not through your brain. It's actually able to absorb and transport and eliminate all the waste that's in your body. When you piddle this water out, it carries the filth with it. There's a big difference between the two waters, isn't there, in your body. The still water is able to transport and eliminate the waste out of your body. Now, does anyone have any questions about water, about tap water, or anything about water at the end of the show? I told you I'd give you some time. I do. There's some controversy about fluoride in the water. What can you tell us about that? You know, I don't really know. I just know that on a government toxicity chart that fluoride is just a little bit more poisonous than lead, and not quite as poisonous as arsenic. I do have two tubes of toothpaste here. One is fluoridated toothpaste and the other one is non-fluoridated. It's the same company. But on the back of the fluoride, fluoridated toothpaste it says that keep out of the reach of children under six years of age and if accidentally swallowed more than used during brushing, call Poison Control Center immediately. On the back of the unfluoridated toothpaste it says you can eat all you want. It doesn't have any warning at all. It's totally safe for children or anyone. Uh, I know that uh, sodium fluoride is quite a controversy right now in our drinking water. Uh, the EPA has come out to stand against fluoridation of, of drinking water. I'm not a scientist, so I don't know really if it's good or bad, but there's some very good sources out there that's reliable that says it's not good for us. For me, I think that 
the fluoride or any other poison I don't want in my body. There's enough poisons in my body has to contend with right now. You look at the places where they use fluoride, it's in rat poison, pesticides, uh, dental offices, municipalities. It's also used in drinking water. Does anyone else have another question about fluoride? I want to, I want, I would like to know if uh, distillation gets fluoride out and what other chemicals does it get out? Distillation gets all chemicals out of the water, including fluoride. Volatile gases, however, do distill across. That's why we put a post-carbon filter on the distiller and it carries a bigger spectrum of able to take out more things out of the water. Uh, a lot of your volatile gases are, are petroleums or oil. We know there's water, there's petroleum and oil in our water. Also, chlorine is a volatile gas, so the carbon filter takes it out also. Pesticides, many of them are pyrethroids and and volatile gases made with petroleum products. So we know that distillation takes that out, boils across with the steam, but the carbon filter absorbs all that and takes that out, up to 99.9%. .9%. You have to drink millions of gallons to get any, any adverse effect from those chemicals.